This is uh this is the Taco Blog. I'm Chris and I'm Lamont. And uh we are taco enthusiasts. Connoisseurs you might say. Fanatics, you <laughs> might you might say. And uh <clears throat> we're gonna be hitting you with taco blogs um about every week. Yeah, right about every week. Possibly bi weekly. I'm okay with that. I'm okay yeah. with that too. So, this man Chris has probably eaten more tacos, more different varieties of tacos than anybody has, including you. <laughs> you. Wherever the camera is. There it is. In your life. Um, and I'm probably second to that. Uh, so we are going to visit taco shops, local and far away, uh, franchise and store owned, business and non-business, taco trucks and all that. And we're going to be eating those tacos right here in front of you. Demolishing them. Demolishing them and making comments on whether or not they are worth your money. And whether they're any good. And whether they're any good. Yeah. They're, they're, and the, now I know what you might be thinking. It's very tough to mess up a taco. It's possible. It's not easy. But it's possible. And it's always a shame. Indeed. So, <clears throat> what do we have for you this week? Well, if Colorado Springs had a hood <laughs> this place would be in it uh i mean this is the number one place to kick it if you're on the south side at midnight and you have nothing else to do where did we go albert tacos albert tacos yes. right <clears throat> and uh the tacos there are uh, moderately priced you think they're as a man who's had a share of tacos they, they could be a little cheaper but they're not unreasonable. We're th we're talking two fifty, two forty. Two, two. It's about between two bucks and two fifty. If you get plain beef, it's about two bucks. If you get adobada, if I'm saying that right, I have no idea. But right. If you're getting adobada, adobada, whatever, however you say that, it's about two fifty. So somewhere in that range, fifty cents, you're safe. Okay. Now, that's a pretty good price taco. We've seen cheaper, we've seen worse, but it's based on the price. You go into any of these locations, it's extremely bright, uh, color orange and yellow, bright floors. It's just like, you know, don't drink coffee there. <laughs> It'll be a bad experience. But, <clears throat> um, got one of the tacos right here. Check this out. Check this out for two. What kind is that? Is that carne asada? This is the carne asada. Can they capture that? Yeah. Up a little more. Here. Up a little more into this way. Yeah. Business. Yeah. Business. That is the carne asada taco from Albert Tacos. You see the guacamole on that thing? Yikes. It looks and smells pretty amazing. And they come with three sides of sauce. sauce. Both green and red. So, um, looks pretty good. What did you get? Well, Chris went uh, all out. Chris, I'm telling you, get this guy in front of tacos. He will always overdo it. I got, <laughs> <laughs> I got a collection. <laughs> oh! I figured why start small. Yeah, so, he has like so many colors in there. I got like beef. Crazy. I got carnitas. I have, um, actually, I think they jacked me on a taco. Might have to punch somebody in the throat. Wow. Anyways, uh, I give I give him. I see. I was gonna give him a star for the presentation of the tacos yeah. themselves, but I gotta remove that star for jacking a taco from Chris. Yeah, that's not. It's not the one that, you jack a taco. That, from. that doesn't bode well. He'll actually come down there probably, so. and then it's, <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. Okay, so I got a uh, beef <clears throat> carne asada and autobata, which I'm ninety percent sure I'm saying wrong, but autobata. And go. you see that that it's, red it's color the right there. Red. Which is uh, the uh, namesake. But, uh, I might have to snatch the auto bot off <laughs> You can try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Um, so before we eat tacos and let you know whether or not they're worth your buy, we always have to pray to the creator of tacos. Indeed. All right. So let's bow our heads. Father God, we thank you for creating tacos. We thank you that uh, me and uh, my brother Chris are able to come together and um, able to share a meal and to let people know um, whether or not it is good. And uh, we just thank you for being who you are and being the God who reigns over both of our lives. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. amen. All right, so how's that? 
us. Let us see it. Let us try it. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Major, major point on taste. On a on a one to five scale. On a one. Oh, here, here's a better idea. On a one to seven scale. On a one to seven scale, I'm gonna give that first bite a five and a half. Seriously, it's pretty serious. I mean, off the first bite, you get the tomato, you get the onions. Yeah. You get the pico. Cilantro. Let me just tell you guys this. If any taco, <laughs> if any taco does not have cilantro, it's not getting five stars from either of us. It's an automatic. Point it's an dropper. automatic point dropper. Now you could still get on the radar yeah. without cilantro, but you have to be a very bold taco maker. <laughs> okay, put cilantro in every taco. Period. Cilantro and onion is core to tacos. It's just it's it's what you do. You have tortillas. You have some form of meat. You have onions and cilantro. And then you have an abundance of goodness over and above that, but that's your core. I think. Wow, I'm 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 at the point of being unprofessional. Like, <laughs> I'll to take one bite and comment, but that's ridiculous. I'm gonna try this. Which Auto, one are you trying right now? Autobata, that I'm probably saying wrong. The Autobata Pia. Yeah. <laughs> uh. pretty good. It could use a little more heat. It's a little mild. Is it supposed to be hot? Not necessarily. But I just like hot food. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, see? That, <laughs> that's why you don't mess with Chris. Because Chris will dock you a point for something you weren't even supposed to add. Like, <laughs> they, had, <laughs> they had no point in making it hot. Like, they didn't try to. But because he would have preferred something hot in that instance... He's uh, docking them a point for that. And they're docked the point for not being hot on that taco. The, because the, when a taco is red, you expect certain things. In my defense, they also jacked the taco. so They did. Come on, don't do right that. Right off the bat. I'm sorry, but... Give a man a taco, you pay for it. Well, they weren't cheap tacos either. All, All right, right, he's going to take another bite of that one. This one's kind of falling apart, so I'm going to have to move on to the next one. All right. We'll try this carne asada and see how this lives. And, and let me just tell you, Albert Tacos did not always have the soft shell. I'm glad they moved to that. Like, that's a good look. They used to have those really hard, crunchy, crispy shells that break your teeth when you bite them. Mm-hmm. I think I might give them back that star you took for moving to the soft shell joint. The carne is good. Carne asada is like good? Yeah. There's cilantro on all of them, right? It's lacking in seasoning a little bit. That's a little plain, but it's not bad. It's just... Yeah. It's lacking seasoning a little? A little bit, yeah. Hmm. Mm. It's pretty serious though. I would say. Mm. Uh, Do you score that one higher than the first one? Possibly. The first one got about. It got about a, uh, about a three and a half. Mm. This one's right, right, right there, about three and a half, four. It would have been on point if it would have had a little more seasoning to it, uh -huh. the meat. Let me just tell you guys. But it's it's decent. If you do not say, hold the guacamole, uh, any authentic rest, uh, like if, if it's authentic Mexican, if it's authentic Mexican, and you do not say, hold the guacamole, you're going to get guacamole. If it's like an American-made place, they'll ask you if you want it or they'll leave it off. But be conscious of that because I know, you know guacamole is an acquired taste. Some people know how to do it. Some people don't. What about the third one? Um, the third one is currently being investigated, heavily attacked by the uh, Autobata that fell out the first one. It is messy. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to front. How's that one? That's good. That's a good. It's a good plain beef taco. That actually has a little more flavor than the carne asada. Really? That doesn't make sense, but <laughs> nonetheless, that's kind of where it's at. I give this one about a four. So yeah, 
a quattro. So on the beef, we have a four. On the autobata, we have a three and a half. On the carne asada, three and a half, four. They could use a little more seasoning. On a scale to seven, I got to... I gotta put like a four and a half, five overall on the carne asada. It was pretty impressive. It's, it's decent. It's not bad. Where have you had a better carne asada taco? Tacos to Nexpa. That's the. Okay, taco let's, spot. Let, 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 let's, 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 let's. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay? <laughs> this was Albert Tacos. Now, are you gonna say thumbs up or thumbs down for the price? I'm gonna say thumbs up. For the mm -hmm. price, for, for, for $250. It was it was better than bad, so thumbs up. Thumbs up on the price. Indeed. Mm -hmm. It's worth the price. Go to Albert Tacos, get a carne asada joint. The bum bada, I was expecting it to be a bum hada. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> that's the thumbs up on the worth it for the buy. Now, yep. would you say, in your experience, mm -hmm. out of all the billions upon billions <laughs> upon billions upon billions mm -hmm. of tacos that you've had, mm -hmm. would you say... Those are some good tacos. They're Those good are tacos. Some bad tacos. These are good tacos. Albert Tacos, you make good tacos. You make good tacos. Peace. Peace.